Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys all of our new bleach products. And I know you guys are very, very excited about this because we got some really, really, really cool stuff. So I can't wait to show you guys. So the first sword I'm gonna be showing you guys is Yachiru's Sanpo Kenju. So this sword is really, really cool. If you guys know who Yachiru's character is, she's kind of like a little kid character and she's a really, really cool sword. I love the hot, like the hot pink candle. I love the little flower tsuba. I love a flower tsuba moment. Uh, and this one is really, really cute. And this one's really, really unique as well because it has kind of like wheels at the bottom, which I think looks really cute and kind of adds to the sword in this long white lace thing. I've never actually opened this sword, so I'm very excited to see how the blade looks. But So this is what it looks like. You have this silver black dual tone kind of blade. And uh, this blade is carbon steel, so it does not come in a sharp version. This is our dull version. And again, just because I say something is dull does not mean that it's not dangerous. You should always be careful even uh, if the sword is dull. And I would even consider this one more semi-sharp than actually fully dull, like I would still be very careful with this one. But yeah, this is Yachiru's Sanpo Kenju. So the next sword I'm gonna show you guys is Ichigo's True Shikai. So this is what his Shikai looks like. It's very, very cool. It comes in the form of like a Kyber blade, I believe is what they call this. And it has a sp space right over here. And I just love this detail right over here where you can see the Soul Society's kind of logo and this leather handle. And again, this one is carbon steel, but it's quite heavy, so be careful with it. And I know what you guys are wondering, Ichigo Shikai has two blades. And to that, I say, yes, it does. And we have that second blade right over here. So this is the smaller blade that Ichigo carries. This one is also very, very cool. It looks very similar to Ichigo's um, Shikai, the bigger version. It has that black and silver dual tone blade. And I love this detail right here where the metal kind of goes all around as a guard. And I think it looks really, really cool. So that's what this one is. So the next one I'm gonna be showing you guys is Ishin Kurosaki's Engetsu. So this is what this one looks like. I think it's very, very cool. You have a very nice black sheath and this leather wrap around it here along with these white laces. I think that looks really, really cool. Uh, the guard is a little bit bigger on uh, this uh, katana. As you can see, it's kind of like longer this way. So it's, it's you know, it's, it's significantly bigger than other katana guards. And also usually katana guards are round and this one's kind of rec diamond shape, diamond shape, rectangular. And the other cool thing about this one is the handle is actually kind of like a rectangular shape to it. A lot of our katanas have more of like a circular shape. Uh, this one is a little bit more of a rectangular shape. I think that looks really, really cool, really nice. And let me show you guys the blade. And again, I'm seeing these for uh, the first time, uh, a lot of them. And this one I really, really like. This is what the blade looks like. It's a silver kind of um, blade and it has that faint hamon pattern. I think this looks really cool. It's a really sleek, fatherly sword fit for a father like Ishin Kurosaki. So the next one I'll be showing you guys is Sajin Komumura's Symbiotic Link. So this one is very, very, very cool. This one is really, really unique. Uh, this one doesn't come with a sheath actually. Uh, it just kind of comes like this. It has this red um, uh, handle and it has this cool guard that's like a hourglass kind of shape. I think that looks really cool. And also these black laces. And the blade detailing, as you guys can see, is really, really cool on this one. So you have that black and silver dual tone kind of blade. And again, it looks really cool. And it's like smaller from the bottom, bigger at the top. Very, very unique design. I really like this one. So the next one we have is going to be one that you guys are really excited about. It's Ichigo's True Bankai. So this is what that looks like. And again, this one takes the form of a Kyber blade. And I believe this black portion is supposed to, is meant to look like a black Daito sword. It looks really, really cool. And it has this chain detailing right over here. Um, I really, really like this one. It's, I've seen this one before and like I'm obsessed with how it looks. It looks really, really cool. And again, this one is carbon steel, but again, something you should be very, very careful with because the tip of this is, I don't even know if you can see that, but the tip of this is very, very sharp. It's very, very pointy. Uh, and it looks similar to Ichigo's uh, True Shikai with the handle, kind of both have that same leather wrapped handle. But yeah, so this is Ichigo's True Bankai. So the next one I have for you guys is Shinji's Sakanade. So this one is very, very unique as you can see because it has this kind of metal ring that I can put my face through. This is for the thumbnail. Okay. Um, and it has this really cool green handle. But again, I really like the detail of this yellow ring here. And this is made out of metal, um, just so you guys know. And here is what the sheath kind of looks like. It comes in this leather sheath. And you guys probably know how this blade is going to look. It's a very, very cool blade, very, very unique blade. Uh, this is what it looks like. So as you can see, it has all those 
holes just like how the sword in the anime does. They're very, very cool. You can just get your finger right through it. So it's just like in the anime. And again, this one is in a carbon steel version. It looks really, really cool. Probably one of my favorite of the new Bleach swords just because of how unique it is. Like it really is just a really unique sword. And then you have the guard as well that kind of looks like an hourglass also, but also kind of more similar to a rectangle. I don't know, uh, this is a very cool sword, but I've Googled Shinji and Shinji looks very creepy. I used to watch Bleach and I forgot how uh, creepy Shinji looks. So the next one I have for you guys is Gin's Shinso. So this sword is very, very cool. And I like this sword because it's actually very unique in terms of the fact that I feel like it's so different from the other Bleach swords. I feel like all the Bleach swords are very funky a lot of the times, they're very fun. Um, this one is very like somber and very kind of sleek and a very classic looking katana. So you have the black leather handle, which I think looks really, really cool because it has a little bit of texture to it, as well as this black just wood sheath and this really cool gold guard that has this kind of spacing in between it. I think this looks really cool. Kind of looks like two puzzle pieces kind of put together. Uh, but let me show you guys the blade. So this is what the blade looks like. It's just a regular silver blade with that uh, kind of faint hamon pattern. Again, this just is like a really classic looking katana. Even if you're not a fan of bleach, I think it's just like a really cool katana to just kind of have because the design is just really classic and cool. And the very last katana I'll be showing you guys is Yamamoto's Wonderwise. So this one, I was actually really surprised about. Um, I, again, I've seen Bleach before, but it's been a while, so I had to refresh my memory on, some, on who some of the characters are. And Yamamoto's like this old guy, and so you don't really expect him to have a katana that looks like this with the purple and the red and everything like that. So it's really surprising that he does, but this is what his katana looks like. Uh, that purple fabric handle, I think it's really nice. Red wooden sheath. I love the tuba on this one. It's very simple, classic tuba, that oval kind of shape. And then I'll open up the blade for you guys. So this is what the blade looks like. You have that silver and black dual tone. Again, looks really, really cool. And when you put this whole sword kind of together, it looks really, really nice. I love the way that the purple kind of complements the way that this blade looks. Uh, yeah, this is a really, really cool one. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe to see more Fire and Steel content and leave a comment. Let us know what you think. And if you guys want to see even more Fire and Steel content, make sure to follow us on our other social media channels. Any social media that you guys have, we also probably have. And if you want to grab any of these bleach swords and see the rest of the bleach collection, make sure to check the links in the description down below. And check out our website, fireandsteel.ca. Mm -hmm.